Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I literally just rolled out of bed. I showered real quick, did my skincare, did nothing to my hair clearly. So we're sitting down. I kind of feel half awake, but I am really excited to try out all of this brand new makeup from Ulta. I went shopping last night and I am so thrilled that I found so many new things that I am genuinely curious about. So we're gonna be testing out new sprays from Urban Decay, a Peter Thomas Roth primer. What do I have here? I have concealers from Estee Lauder. I have a dose of colors eyeshadow palette, which was really surprising. I found that right at the like end of my journey in Ulta, like right when I was checking out, I was like, oh. And then what I'm so excited to try out is this from Stila. They brought out the Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. So it's kind of a combo of the new liquid eyeshadows and the Magnificent Metals Glitter Eyeshadows. Yeah, that's what they're called, right? Dude, it is raining outside. I suddenly just got so distracted. It's so super rainy in California. I just wanna cuddle up with a blanket, drink my coffee, and be cozy all day. So if it's kind of like a chill, dark video, that's what's happening. But we are gonna play with glitter, so that's good. We're gonna start out with these two right here. I have the Rebound Collagen Infused Complexion Prep Priming Spray. Say that five times fast. This is a firming, smoothing, radiance boosting prep spray that you put on your face before you do your makeup. 76% more hydrated, 36% smoother, 21% more radiant on a clinical study of like immediate, immediate, wait, contains fish proteins, what? It says that this is a collagen infused spray laced with botanical extracts of chia seed. Why does that sound so funny? This is laced. Sounds like a, a drug that's laced with something, okay? Come on, fish extracts. That is actually the most firm mist that I have ever seen Urban Decay bring out. Normally, their mist on any of their setting sprays is like, shh. This one is hardcore. It's like, bam. All right, so this is 32 bucks. I don't know, we're gonna have to wait and see. I'll use this for a few weeks and I will give you guys an update on how it is going. But I did like the ingredients. I like that it is collagen infused and sounded like a nice idea. So I wanted to try it. Next up, we have this Skin to Die For from Peter Thomas Roth. I've really loved their rose infused cleansers. I've used a bunch of their masks and I like the line. I've never tried a primer from them before though. So this is the No Filter Mattifying Primer and Complexion Perfection. Factor. A lot of you guys were recommending this to me and I'm so stuck on my Tarte primer that I think it's about time I branch out and try a few things, like at least try a few things. So this comes out like a very liquidy gel. It's not as thick as I thought it would be. So I'm just gonna prime the skin with this and hope that it does a little bit of a miracle for my problem areas and my pores. I am then gonna put on my Laura Mercier foundation because whenever I'm testing out a primer, I like to use the foundation that I know and trust and really see if it makes a difference in the wear time and how my skin looks. It has no scent at all and this feels really, really nice. I'm gonna depuff my eyes just a little bit with this guy from Physicians Formula. I talked about this in a Hot or Not. I keep this on my desk right now. I really, really like it. Next up, I am gonna take this model's own Sculpt and Glow, and I used this for the first time in a recent drugstore try-on, and I'm just gonna take my Clarisonic and just kind of shape out the face. I really, really like this. I'm really excited to try this out. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Flawless Wear Concealer. I have heard great things about this. You guys know I love my Tarte Shape Tape. I love the Catrice Concealer, but this just swatched so pretty on my hands in the store. It seems really full coverage. I have actually never tried the original Estee Lauder Double Wear. I think I need to do that because it's such a holy grail of YouTube and of women in general, and I feel like I wanna put it to the test like a full day wear test. So let me know what you think about that. I got two shades. I got light warm, which is this right here. And then I got the shade light medium, which is more cool undertone right there. I'm gonna go in first with the cool undertone and just see what happens. It's actually a really nice color. Wow, that actually blended out on my forehead so nice. Like it doesn't even look dry for a second. I really, really love that. I am so shocked. I'm gonna quickly set the under eye before it has a chance to crease. 
and where's my brush? Oh my God. And I'm just using Scott Barnes powder in petal to set the under eye. I am gonna bake and I'm gonna use my Cody Airspun. We all know what that's about. So I didn't have a new powder to try and I don't have new brows to try. So I'm gonna bake, put on my brows and I will be right back. It is really coming down now, you guys. Like I'm just waiting for my power to go out. We never get rain like this. I mean, it's good on one hand, but then there are mudslides and it's like, it's kind of crazy. Okay, so moving on, I have now obviously applied my brows. I've powdered my face. I still have a little powder underneath here, just in case some of the shadow that I'm about to use has fallout because these are all very red, orange, warm tone shades. I'm using the Sassy Sienna's palette from Dose of Colors. This is $32. I actually have a more magenta toned one of these already. And I do like the formula quite a a bit. These are really kind of out of my comfort zone. This is not the normal type of a palette that I would go to. So I kind of want to challenge myself and see what type of a look we can create. I am also going to take this from Stila. I'm actually so, so excited about this. Look, you guys. Just, oh, is that not gorgeous? And I think it's warm enough that it's gonna pair with this really beautifully. I also wanna let you guys know within this video, I am doing a little mini giveaway. I have a bunch of Stila products here. I will insert a picture of everything and super easy to enter. Just hit the link in the description box below. But first off, these giveaways are always gonna be international. Last time people won from all over the world, but the majority of the winners were off of the bonus entries. So if you're thinking the bonus entries don't matter, they do. It's a random selection, so the computer kind of randomly selects. But yeah, I will have this as a giveaway. And where am I? Where am I headed? What are we doing? Eyeshadow. All right. So I already have Urban Decay primer on my lids. I'm using the anti-aging primer. And I am gonna take a little bit of the Scott Barnes powder and just pat this all over my lid just as a base. And then we are gonna go lightest to darkest. So I'm starting at the left of the palette. Wow, that's orange. <laughs> this is very, very pigmented. I barely tapped in there at all. Wow, so that is just one shade. You really wanna make sure you blend these, especially because this is such a bright color. But you know what? It's raining outside. I kind of feel like I just wanna have fun with my makeup today. We're not going full natural. This is a little bit wilder for me um, than my normal go-to kind of chocolate everyday eye look. I am gonna go straight in the middle shade, which is kind of a warm matte brown, and I'm gonna go a little bit lower. I'm gonna focus more on the center of the crease than on the inner or outer. Taking this small flat eyeshadow brush from Kevin Aquan, I'm gonna go into the darkest shade in the palette, and I am gonna go right in this portion of my socket. And taking a clean brush, I'm gonna kind of blend everything all together. These colors are really intense, but the thing that I am noticing that's really nice is there's not a lot of fallout and they are blending right into one another really beautifully. I'm gonna take the middle shade on a pencil brush and I'm just gonna start in the center of my lower lash line and focus the color there and then kind of pull toward the inner corner and then toward the outer. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with the shade Wanderlust from Stila. I'm actually gonna take this off the back of my hand with my fingertips. I don't like applying these straight from the tube. I just think it's too much. And for me, I like to look down until it dries so that I don't transfer a lot of that glitter into the crease. This is just a very casual, stay at home, rainy day look, you know, nothing major. Dang, that is beautiful. I love that. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is line my waterline and I'm not gonna line on top of my lid. I'm just gonna pop on mascara and false lashes. I do have this new liner. It's a 24 hour liner from L'Oreal. And I picked this up at Ulta on one of their new displays. They have a bunch of colors. Mm, this is not applying. Maybe I need to warm it up on my hands. That helped. 
I'm gonna use my Lash Paradise and I'm gonna pop on some lashes and I'll be back to finish off the face with some highlight and then we're testing out some of the Stila lips. And as usual with any dramatic look, the lashes make a huge difference. It can kind of be a bit of a journey when you're piling on all this makeup, it doesn't look balanced. And then once you put mascara or lashes on, it kind of brings it all together. So eyes are done. I did put on a little bit of bronzer. I used my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer just to warm up the skin a little bit. I am going to now use nothing that's new at Ulta, but this is one of my favorites at Ulta. It is Makeup Revolution. It's a matte blush in Beloved. I was gonna save this for a new at the drugstore, but I actually have a new highlighter, one of the master highlighters from Maybelline. I'm gonna grab that. You guys know I love the gold shade. This is the Master Chrome Metallic Highlighter in Rose Gold. I think this is gonna look really pretty. Oh, that is so, so good. I'm gonna pop a little bit on the inner corner as well, just to kind of pull the whole color theme together. This is staying like right in front of me. I'm gonna be using that so much. I think this is perfect. Hmm, I have a few different shades to try out from Stila. They brought out different textures of their liquid lip. And I think that's gonna be too pink. Hmm, I might go like full nude. This is the shade Sonata. So I'm gonna line my lips real quick and then apply this. I'm gonna take, let's take Max Strip Down. I really like how everything turned out. I have to admit, when I was going in with this palette right here, which, let's take this plastic off. I was going in with this palette, I was like, I don't know where we're headed. This is kind of looking strange, but just keep blending. And you know what? If you keep blending, keep layering, figure things out as you go. And a lot of the time, by the end of your journey doing your makeup, things will look good. A nude lip can always pull together most intense eye looks, so always remember that. And I just love how balanced and pretty the skin looks with this very big, bright eye. I am loving this. All right, so the last thing I have is the new updated All Nighter from Urban Decay. Okay, you guys know All Nighter is one of my absolute must have holy grail items. I have a half used bottle right here. I've gone through so many bottles. This has a new element to it that is a pollutant protection. It's an environmental defense makeup setting spray. I don't know, it's oil free, paraben free. It sounds good to me. I figured why not give it a good go and see if it's magic. When it comes to setting sprays, more is more. Just remember that. I hope you enjoyed this. Most of the products that I used, I really immediately loved. I will keep you updated in the description box below. As I try these products out some more and give you like the full wear test, I'll leave that in a little section in the description box. Also, I am giving away a ton of Stila lip products and eye products and eye pencils. It's international. Click the link in the description box below to enter. Good luck to you guys. I hope this was fun for you watching me pile on a bunch of new makeup I had never tested out. And if you want more of these videos, you know what to do. Hit the thumbs up button and leave me comments. I love hearing from you guys. All right, I hope you're having a good one wherever you are. I love you and I will see you all in my next video. Mwah.